Bonjour, Kinemagi and NA Ireland Indigenous, and welcome to this production of the MyMass Network. Today's lesson, Chapter 7, Lesson 7 Hands on Map Location. Looking at yesterday's assignment, you can see that we needed to identify the pattern. This one was multiplying by two, so we just keep doubling it. On number two, we subtracted five, so each term was five less. Over here, we divided by two, so each term was half as large. And number four, we added seven. And this one, we number five, we had Dino's Diner. The four sandwich was 16. Carlos was 32. So the cost of four sandwiches at Carlos Cafe is twice the cost at Dino's, or you could say the cost at Dino's was half the cost of Carlos. Here we divided by three, so 27 and three. A sequence is a list of numbers that follow a specific pattern, and each number in the list is called a term. And over here we were adding eight, so our next ones were 40, 48, and 56. Today, looking at it, we're going to bring out some further story problems and touching on some stuff with the coordinate grid that we were working on in our enrichment a few sessions back. So you're going to need to be able to read these charts and it's kind of an offshoot of the coordinate grids. You have to be able to count spaces, like how many spaces there are and use these maps. And these are helpful as they do show up quite a bit in story problems and on standardized tests as well. The essential question remains how are patterns used to solve problems? And we're gonna go ahead and begin in our textbook. And that's gonna be on the packet that begins on page 519. If you don't have that packet right there, you should pause it and then go grab the packet and then return when you're ready. If you don't have the packet, you may want to consider grid paper or line paper in order to do this. The expectation is that you follow along as we go through it, filling it in where necessary along with me. You don't have to wait until I'm done to fill it in. You can do it right alongside. Also, if I have print on the screen, when I get to the point of saying, I'm gonna clear the screen, that gives you a couple seconds in order to hit pause to write in anything you need to do. So you can use grid paper to represent locations on a map. From school, Marcia walks three blocks north to the library. Then she walks two blocks east of the park. Her home is located one block south of the park. Draw a map that shows these location. I'm gonna grab an annotation tool as you sh should use a pencil. Use a blank grid to draw and label a dot in the lower left corner to represent school. This is where we would call 00, zero the origin. And when we do this, north is going to be that way, east this way, south is to the bottom, and west. Basically following the maps that you would utilize in any other situation. Let me just kind of nickname for this compass. So we, we need to read through here. From school walks three blocks north. North means up and each of these sections is one block. So one, two, three. So I'm gonna label that with an S for school. Oops, to the library, sorry. So it's an L. There's S for school. Then she walks two blocks east to the park. So one and two. Her home is located one block south of the park. So one below that is home. We go ahead and write those in, copy them in. 
and over the next couple of days, we'll talk more about how to label these. And your origin will always be zero, zero. And then we do count these that. And then the same going up. That's coming more forward. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen. And you can see that they started off with us. Step two, um, and we kind of already jumped ahead here for my, for the doubt labels go, which direction we go up towards the library. And up is north. And we had to go three units because it said three blocks. Again, this is just going to fill it in as we, I taught it all at once on the first screen. So op and three, go ahead and write that in. In step three, we had to go to the right, to the east, one, two spots. So right and two. Then we had to go south, which is down one spot. So all of this came from the part problem up here. We just had to follow it through on the grid. On the grid provided, draw and label the locations from the draw it activity. I'm gonna let it for me. Here's the school, the library, the park, and home. Does Marshall live closer to the park or to the library? Well, the library is one, two, three away. The park is one. Is the library closer to the park or to the school? We're one, two, whereas the school is one, two, and three. So the park is the answer to both of those. Go ahead and write that in. Continuing on, describe how Marsha could walk from her home to school. She could, you, you have a couple ways. You could say she could walk two blocks south and then two blocks west. You could say she could walk two blocks west and then two blocks south, either would work. So you can write down that sample answer or the other version. Write a problem that can represent locations of real world objects. Now this one would totally be up to you. Let's see what they gave me here. Yeah, I could start out with something like, I went home, I had to go four blocks north to, this, to the mall, three blocks east to the gas station, Puppies are excited about that answer. And since they're so talking up behind me, two blocks south to the bats. Yeah, talking to you two. So that would be one example. You literally could come up with any example you wanted on a problem like that. All right, I want you to practice this one. And although you don't have, there is grid paper put on your homework page. If you were using notebook paper and didn't have it, you would have to draw a grid. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and do this problem. All right, let's see how you did. From the zoo entrance, Marco walks three units east of the gift shop. So you see that there. 
Then he walks four units north to the Bears. The Lion exhibit is located two south, one, two, and one east of the Bear exhibit. Let's do one more. Go ahead and do number seven. You may pause the video and then pause it when you're ready. Let me pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. From the dining hall, a camper rides her bike four units to the north to the nature center. There we go. Five units east and one south to the cabin. So one, two, three, four, five east, one south to the cabin. Campfires one west and three south. One, two, and three. There you go. At this point, I'm going to release you to the homework. And you can see it there. You're going to use those charts. Multiple ways to submit this. One, you can put your name on the top of both sides, scan or take a picture of it and send it to me via text or email. Or you may find the answer and type it into the Google form that will be provided on this post. Or if you're one of the in-person students via hybrid, you can bring it in at your next class session. Group A students would submit this on a Monday or Tuesday, Group B students on Thursday or Friday. If you have questions, please reach out to me or visit me during office hours. Have a minogishigad, minwa bama pi.